Hey, welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on Full Throttle Drive. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you are not, thank you so much for all of your support and watching all of my videos. Um, I just wanted to make a video and as you can tell, this video is much different than my normal videos. Usually I'm in front of the camera, but today we have, um, we're going to talk about a certain topic and obviously we're going to get to that, but the way that I'm going to talk about the topic, I have a bunch of information that I need to read off to you guys that I want to share with you. And so it's going to be easier. I'm actually doing this on my mic and as you'll see, um, you're going to have a bunch of photos to look at um, and maybe a few video clips. We'll see uh, what I end up uncovering, but I wanted to make a video format in this way. Now, one of the topics that I talked about not long ago was that the new 2020 C8 Corvette is probably going to only get a dual clutch transmission. I went through some of the reasoning. I explained why. Uh, you can check out that video. Again, I made that earlier. And uh, I kind of, you know, just went over some of the main points. However, there has been some new evidence that has kind of come to light. And it's not guaranteeing anything but it could possibly mean that we could see an implementation of a manual on the new 2020 C8 Corvette. So I wanna make a disclaimer here. Just because a patent, and that's what we're gonna talk about, is filed does not necessarily mean that it is used. Uh, when GM files patents, it's usually um, you know, a methodology that they use to make sure that they can implement a certain spec or aspect to a new vehicle. Um, but a lot of times things are changed, revised. Um, they just like having uh, the flexibility if they want to add it to a certain given vehicle for whatever reason. But again, it doesn't necessarily mean just because they go out and get a patent, file an application, does not mean that they actually will use it in the final design. Um, but given that, I've been searching the forums. I always am checking up on new information, and this actually isn't super new information. I've been super busy, um, so this has been you know about a week old. There's some other YouTubers that have talked about this specific uh, subject, but I thought we'd go over it here on the channel because it's very important. I personally would love to see a new Corvette have a manual transmission. Uh, my C6 that I had previous before my R8 was a manual. I wish my R8 was a manual. Um, the gated shifter would have been amazing. I love manuals. I'd love to see GM and Chevy keep the manual for the new Corvette. But again, my video explained why they probably won't. Um, there are a lot of reasons why they may not go that route. Nonetheless, let's jump into some of this information that I found regarding this patent. Um, one of the things that I want to get to is, is there's this long quote, and I know I'm going to read just straight from it, but I wanted you guys to hear the quote. I thought it would be beneficial. Um, this will give you a good idea of the possibility of having that clutch, um, or I should say manual clutch, um, and the reasoning why it would work out actually pretty beneficial with the mid engine design that the new C8 Corvette is going to be based off of. So here we have uh, this quote, and again, I found this on the mid-engine Corvette forums. Um, and again, so I'm just going to go ahead and read this for it. So we've seen a lot of spy shots and even videos of the mid-engine Corvette prototypes running around, but almost all of them seem to point to the use of a dual clutch transmission. While we don't have any concrete confirmed details on the powertrain yet, a new patent application from General Motors may show that a manual transmission could be implemented in the future. This application is titled Electronic Slave Cylinder for Manual Shifted Vehicles. Um, it shows how clutch by wire, so it's going to be using a clutch by wire system, could be implemented to operate a manual transmission with actually at, without having to actually run the hydraulic lines. In a traditional application for the hydraulic clutch system, a clutch pedal is mounted to the firewall with the clutch master cylinder directly in front of it. A hydraulic line extends from the master cylinder to the clutch cylinder and then it is mounted on the transmission in order to actuate the clutch. When the pedal is pressed, hydraulic pressure is built and sent down the line in order to move the clutch and shift the gears. In the system shown in the patent application, which you're seeing some actual pictures of, 
A sensor is mounted on the clutch pedal which sends an electronic signal to the actuator mounted on the electrical slave cylinder and the transmission in order to move the clutch plate. This allows for installation of transmission far away from the clutch pedal without worry of a long hydraulic line. So essentially, you guys, most of you probably understand that, but if the clutch is in the rear of the vehicle and your actual clutch pedal, which obviously has to be at the front of the vehicle where your feet are, um, they don't have to run this huge long hydraulic line from the front to the rear of the vehicle. Um, so this patent obviously improves upon having to run this long hydraulic line. Uh, so it you know, definitely is beneficial if this is what they end up using. There are many other methods of installing a manual transmission in the rear of the car, and they have been implemented in many recent cars, such as the 4 GT, but an electronical system would allow more flexibility. Now, I will say some people don't like electronic, um, you know, manual transmissions, uh, but that's a whole different topic. We won't get into that too much right now. Another benefit of the electronically operated slave cylinder is that it would be possible to give control to the computer for certain operations, such as stop and go traffic, in order to prevent fatigue and patent application even listed as a benefit in such a long in such a system along with having a consistent feel even over long periods of time, which is not possible with the hydraulic system. So, you know, anything GM or Chevy does, they want to improve upon it. They're trying to make this the best Corvette yet and I'm sure they will attain that but when they're thinking of a manual transmission um, even then I think that even though we have enthusiasts people that really just want a, a basic manual transmission it seems like they're trying to improve on that and that is if they can appease people where hey you have a true manual yet if you're in stop and go traffic and the clutch can engage and disengage on itself um, we've improved you know, because stop and go traffic, even for, a, you know, the purists out there that want a true manual, stop and go traffic can suck. I love manual transmissions. But if you are in horrible stop and go traffic or you're on a hill and you're just sitting there, um, you know, just barely moving, it can drive you nuts. A lot of you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, does it outweigh the amazing, um, you know, feeling you have when you're on the back roads by yourself? No, but if you could improve that small aspect, especially if you daily drive this car, which I absolutely would love to daily drive this car um, if I end up getting it, um, and I probably will get it, it just depends on timing, um, but if I can improve that small point of you know stop and go traffic and still enjoy a full manual transmission in every other aspect, I can definitely see that being a major benefit. So uh, it also says the system may seem like yet another method of taking control away from the driver, but it actually um, may be a savior to the manual transmission as it could take away the mundane task of clutching in and out while in stop and go traffic while making it somewhat future proof by bringing it to a network of modules that can centrally control by one of the car's computers. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just reaffirming what I just said. But remember, it's just a patent. It may not go anywhere. For now, it's an interesting piece of tech. I'm eager to see if GM does anything with it. So as I said, they are obviously saying, hey, not, uh, not guaranteed, but it is very interesting that after all this pushback, and GM has definitely received a whole lot of pushback. It's funny because the manual community is like 25% of all of the buyers of Corvettes, which is crazy. To me, That's I would think it's a lot larger. There's a reason why a lot of people think the, the manual community is so much larger, and that's because they're the loudest. Um, they push the most. They advocate the most. They are the um, you know largest voice in the community. And so having that, having that community, GM has received a ton of pushback since it's been found that a dual-clutch transmission may be the only possibility for the new C8 mid-engine Corvette. That would be, um, you know, uh, unfortunate, but so far it seems to be the, you know, the case. But with this new patent being filed, who knows? You know, um, you know, I'm curious what you guys think. Share in the comments what you guys think. If you want to see a manual, if you enjoy manuals, if you're okay with the dual clutch, you got to remember dual clutch transmission, as I said in my other video, has a whole host of advantages. It will be faster than any manual um, so depending on the application you're using it for if you're trying to rip off quarter miles at the track um, you know or you know whatever a, a dual clutch transmission you can't fight with um, what it is capable of however you do lose a ton of that driver connection you have with the vehicle you can never be as engaged as a manual transmission there's no feature 
flipping a paddle, hitting, you know, a, a stick that has the plus and minus his little, you know, slush box on the side. Anything like that does not have any, you know, does not hold a candle to anything such as engaging, disengaging a clutch, changing gears. So I am kind of rambling, but, you know, I wanted to share my thoughts. I love, love manual. So I really hope um, that we see that. Let me know what you guys think. I'll continue to follow uh, up on this and let you guys know what I find out. But, you know, hopefully you guys find this super interesting. I certainly do. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, uh, interesting at all, hit that like button, subscribe. As always, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for your guys' support. I will see you next video. As always, take care.